In this video, I'm going over top 10 things that you didn't know about Pat Evan Butcher Beale. So Pat was a well-loved character. Uh, she was killed off in 2012. I'm not sure why. The actress just wanted a break and they ended up killing her off. Some of these facts you may know, it depends on when you started watching the show. Pat's character has developed quite a lot over the years. Um, she was quite antagonistic um, when she was first introduced, but then sort of went on to become quite a friendly and well-loved figure, um, Just not just by the residents of the square, but by viewers as well. And played by the wonderful Pam St. Clement. Um, sorry if I'm saying that wrong, Pam. Number one. She was best friends with Mo Harris. So when Mo, Nan of the Slater girls, arrived on the square in 2000, it was made clear that there was a big rivalry between the two. Mo was married at one point to Pat's brother. What's, and there was more light shed on their relationship um, and their past in a flashback episode or a special bubble episode called Pat and Mo that came out in 2000. And it shows that initially... They were best friends, like really besties. They made their dresses together, went out and then went out wearing those dresses. They were tight. They were thick as thieves. Following on from that, like I said, uh, Mo was married to Pat's brother. Before she was married to him, uh, she had a child, Vivian, who was the mother of the Slater girls, Kat and all of them lot. And so Pat is technically Kat's great step auntie number three in this flashback episode um she was played by an actress called emma cook after this she played trigger's auntie in the prequel series rock and ships the prequel to only fools and horses and we know that frank was the love of pat's life um, and vice versa and they met when they were teenagers so obviously that was briefly looked at in pat and mo well kind of looked at in pat and mo and it showed that uh, when Frank had a shotgun wedding with Janine and Ricky's mum and Diane's mum because she was pregnant that caused Pat to have a breakdown and it caused her to you know drink a lot and while she as she was in this vulnerable state she became susceptible to the suggestions of a local gangster called Tony who hired her, got her working as a prostitute, basically. She did the deed with Dirty Den. So I don't know if anyone remembers when Dennis Rickman came into the show, Den's biological child, and Pat was sort of having a chin wag with him and said, oh yeah, I knew your father very well. And there was this look she gave, which, um, which everyone knew to mean that, yeah, she knew Den. The actress who played Pat, Pam St. Pam St. Clement is actually bisexual in real life and Barbara she was very close friends with Barbara Windsor and Barbara was one of the first people that she came out to. It's worth noting that Barbara Windsor asked for Pam to come back for her own final scene so despite Pat having been killed off I think four years earlier she um Pat appeared as a hallucination. I think that was such a touching scene between Pat and Peggy. Uh, when Peggy's like, oh, my friend, my dear friend, you won't leave me, will you? And she says, no, sweetheart, not for one second. There's real love in that scene. There is real love in that scene. Look it up um, if you haven't seen it already. She was married to Ian's dad. So I started this video by saying Pat Evans, Butcher Beal. So before she was a butcher, before she was Evans, she was married to Ian's dad um, and... Hence why David is Ian's biological brother, David Wicks, Bianca's dad. So Ian is also Bianca's uncle, but he doesn't really care much because David slept with his wife. She didn't initially accept Bianca as her granddaughter. David and Carol were both 14 when Bianca was conceived. And Carol's brother, Derek, and I don't know if Max also, beat up David and drew, drove him out of town. And so Pat and David thought that she had had an abortion. So when David came back to the square, he was flirting like hell with Bianca. And Carol had to tell him, she's your daughter, to stop them going down that. Later on in years, Pat really came into the Nan role with um, Bianca. And they became such a lovely family unit between the years of 2008, 2012. I loved that time of Bianca 
and Pat and Carol at one point as well. So w one quite little known fact, if you didn't, if you started watching in the late 2000s, you may not know this, and this came out when Janet was born, Honey and Billy's daughter, Janet was born, that Pat had a sister with Down syndrome. And when she went to go find that sister, um, she, it was shown that she had passed away, but she had been, she'd gotten married before she passed away, which gave Pat a bit of comfort. Um, and that was quite a very, that was a very touching scene. And uh, last, but maybe not least, is like I said, Pat was a bit of an antagonist in her early days, a bit of a villain. And I think in keeping with that, she was um, written as being quite racist back in the day. So there's a scene where Simon Wicks, her son, is in the pub and he's sort of pining after this um, character. I can't remember her name. She was a Bangladeshi character. And Pat then tells him, oh, you're scraping the bottom of the barrel with a, with a P-word girl. And Simon then, in my opinion, rightly, slaps her. This was very much taken out of Pat's character as... The show progressed and I'm quite glad <laughs> I'm very glad so there we go top 10 facts about Pat let me know did you already know all of these facts did were you surprised by some are there some that I missed out let me know in the comments um but yeah long live Queen Pat